finally, the big news dropped today. RDNA 3 launched yesterday. I didn't really get a chance to watch the conference or do a video on it. Um, I caught up later that night, and I am blown away by the pricing, first of all. I, coming into it, was thinking that they were going to target $1,200 on the XTX model um, and maybe go for like 1000 on the... Uh, 7900 normal XT model, but them going down to 999 and 899 respectively slaughters Nvidia in pricing right now. I think the only really big concern for me is that AMD didn't really show a whole lot of benchmarks, so I don't really know, and nobody really knows exactly how powerful these are. And I know that benchmarks from Nvidia or AMD or anybody you know, showing their own numbers, Intel even, they're going to be skewed in a way to make them look as good as possible. So you always got to take them with a grain of salt, but it's at least better than essentially nothing. We didn't get a whole lot. We had one chart um, that kind of showed uh, ray tracing performance increase. Um, and we had another chart that I think was just straight up performance increase over the... 6900 XT. Now, out of those numbers, they look pretty good. It's 1.7x performance, 1.5x performance. Not bad, but when all the benchmarks are cherry picked, it's kind of hard to say that this is a huge dub for AMD yet. I have faith that the 6900 XTX will probably outperform the 4080. And at the price point it's at being $200 less, I really think AMD genuinely is undercutting NVIDIA super hard to try to gain some market share. And for me, it's working. At that price point, I would actually consider maybe getting one of those cards. I kind of feel like for me personally, anything over $1,000 just really isn't worth it. Even a thousand is kind of pushing it, but I can swing $1,000 more than I can swing twelve hundred or sixteen hundred dollars like the way my brain works at least with the four thousand series so far is that for what you're getting for sixteen hundred dollars out of the 4090 i don't find it very worth it it's extremely expensive so then i'm like well maybe i'll get a 4080 and then when it's twelve hundred dollars i'm like well why would i pay twelve hundred dollars for it feels like twelve hundred dollars should get me the best card on the market I know that hasn't isn't how it's been and everything's been extremely expensive but just mentally for me spending over a thousand dollars in it not being the best card on offer kind of just doesn't feel worth it then either so then i i guess i just wait for a 4070 but with the 6900 xtx i'm totally on board i would love to get one of those cards um in a month or so depending on how the benchmarks look, of course. But I, I do have a feeling that it's going to be under the 4090 in terms of performance. Um, there's a couple, a couple other key things too, like having um, display the DisplayPort 2.1 where NVIDIA doesn't have it. Um, and their architecture is really interesting as well. Uh, I really like the new design. I'm not... Uh, engineer by any means so I don't exactly know what it all means but um, I like that it what they've done has brought the wattage consumption down by quite a lot as well so they're able to get close to 4090 performance or at least 4080 performance but pulling a lot less wattage I would say that's a pretty big win as well I, I think that like for my personal rig right now I have an 850 watt uh, power supply and with the 13700K, I was like, I don't really know if I can upgrade from the 3070 without upgrading my power supply. But with the lower wattage on the 7000 series GPUs, um, I actually can probably slot in either the 7900 XT or XTX uh, pretty easily in my build without, you know, pulling way too much wattage. I'm I'm kind of teetering on the edge a little bit I think, but but at least I have the option to do it. Anyways, those are just kind of my quick thoughts. I actually think AMD absolutely slammed Nvidia in their conference. 
not like I said, not everything was a huge win. I'd love to see more benchmarks. Um, I did see an argument online. I believe it was Jay's two cents. I watched his video. I think it was Jay. Hard to say. I don't want to call any other YouTuber out that isn't. Uh, that I, I'm I'm pulling words from somebody that didn't actually say it. But anyways, they kind of made the argument that maybe AMD is just trying to stand on their own merits and they're not trying to compare themselves to other people. Like you know, like the other person is the benchmark when their all their benchmark should be themselves. Uh, I can kind of get that, but at the same time with Nvidia holding as much market share as they do, you kind of do have to compare them as your benchmark when, you know, what is it? They have like 90%. If you look at the Steam surveys, they have like 90% of the cards on Steam or some crazy uh, ratio. So I am hoping that uh, with these price cuts that AMD is doing, they can cut into that market share by quite a bit. I think everybody wins when uh, two people are competing more heavily and it's not just a one horse race because then Nvidia is going to think twice for releasing cards at the prices that they that they have been releasing them all right but anyways guys i think that's really going to do it for today's video just really quick thoughts i do have other things in the works there was a video i was going to upload today um but with this news dropping i kind of felt like uh releasing it was going it was just going to get buried by all the news um stuff so thought i'd give my thoughts on it to you guys once again, I think it's a huge win for AMD. I'm super happy with the pricing. Um, I'm really excited to see what the benchmarks are going to be on it. And I'm also excited to potentially uh, be buying one in the future as well because I'm really interested in it, honestly. With all that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Before I go, I'm going to hit you guys with a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by us. Here at Omni Array Electronics, we make custom-built PCs at a great cost. We offer free shipping and is built with the care you would expect from a smaller business like ours. And if you want something more rustic, go out and check out our friends at Electronic PC, where they do custom wood grain PCs that look really incredible and can mix in with a more traditional themed home much better than a normal steel PC. Once again, check us out on Omni Array Electronics or head over to our friends at Electronic PC for any of your custom build needs. Once again, guys, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time and hearing my thoughts on it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the battle between AMD and NVIDIA. And please like if you enjoy my content. And please subscribe also if you enjoy my content. Everything helps. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I hope to see you all in another video.